3D printed guns. A judge blocking the planned release of 3D printed gun blueprints yesterday, just hours before they were expected to hit the internet. Defense distributed uh, the company that makes the designs, plan to make them available online for virtually anybody to see them and to download. The judge siding with at least eight states plus DC that are suing the, to halt publication of these designs. Joining us right now is Judge Andrew Napolitano, Fox News senior judicial analyst. Judge, good to see you. Good morning. So it's just the plans to make a 3D gun. Yeah, this is, even though the, the right to keep and bear arms is protected by the Second Amendment, this is a First Amendment case. This is a case about the freedom of speech because you have a document which is truthful and accurate and scientific, which the State Department inexplicably, it's a head-scratcher, told the young man that created it that he could start posting on, uh, on the Internet. Uh, so it's, it's an expression of an idea, and the court uh, is stopping him from doing so. When, when did the State Department say that it was a good idea? Oh, gosh, within the past month or so. See, he originally posted it, and people were buying it overseas. That makes it regulable by the federal government. Are you selling something overseas without a license? He persuaded, his lawyers persuaded State Department lawyers that he wasn't selling it. He was just posting plans for it. He doesn't provide you with the, with the gun. He just provides you with the plans. So the, the Mike Pompeo State Department said, even though it's a federal statute, that prohibits owning, possessing, transporting, or manufacturing a gun without a, a, a piece of, without metal in it. It's called the Undetectable Weapons Act of 1988, Reagan era. There was no impediment to posting this. So he posts it. It was downloaded by about 1,000 people. I think it was downloaded by more people. There are actually more than one version out. Eight attorney, state attorneys general filed a lawsuit in Seattle, and a Seattle judge said, I think there's potentially irreparable harm here, so I'm going to stop you from posting it. And the young man stopped uh, immediately. Yeah. I don't know where this is going to go. I don't think, I just read the judge's opinion a, a few minutes ago, I don't think he adequately addressed the First Amendment issues. First Amendment issues are these. Can the government engage in what we call prior restraint? This is not punishing speech after it comes out of your mouth. This is preventing it from coming out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is something rarely, if ever done, in American history. Uh, but this judge has done it. I think he'll be reversed by the Ninth Circuit. I mean, think about it. You can go into a public library, a library owned by the government, and find a book telling you how to make a bomb. You can find a book telling you how to make a plastic gun. Why can't you find this on the Internet? Hmm. Hmm. The problem is people will use these to harm themselves and to harm others, and that it's a substantial impediment to law enforcement to trace them. You can use this gun and then destroy the gun because it's just a piece of plastic. But does, does this gun work like any other gun once it's made? If like it's made properly, there are many videos out there showing it exploding in people's hands because it depends upon whether you craft it properly, the, the mixture you use to make the... Uh, to but it make could, but it could. And, yes. it's, and it's hard to detect when you go through uh, security at an yes. airport. Because it's well, not metal. Right. The fellow who is behind all this has put two pieces of metal in his. So when he brings it into a courtroom to show to the judge, it is not unlawful. If it has metal in it, because if it has metal in it, it's detectable. If there's no metal in it, it's not detectable. Okay. It's illegal everywhere in the U.S. But Judge, with, in this day and age where we live right now, with the internet, with everybody having access to it, you, like you say, you can figure out how to build a bomb there, or you can do a lot of bad things that you right. can learn on the internet. That, that's not going to change, right? Correct. That's not going away. So that's going to be there forever. This, isn't this just another part of that? Yes, I think the injunction yeah. is fruitless because this is this is human knowledge. Now, it could be used for good, could be used to repel an invader in your house, it could be used for, for evil, but you can't stop the march of human knowledge by a judge's injunction. So